Well, here's my night um, at Gateway Truck and Refrigeration after hours call. Uh, let me show you why. Well, this is why I'm here tonight. Look at all this oil all over my catwalk, all over my fuel tank, all over my APU. It's on the quarter fenders as well. There's just oil all over the place. It's spraying up the side of my truck, the back wall of my truck. I mean, everywhere I look right now, all I'm seeing is oil. Um, and I was, look at right here. I mean, that's the worst. And all of a sudden I was like, where is this coming from? Well, look, the pan of my reefer unit. This is not a good sign. And look, right now I have a frozen load on the trailer. Well, right there you can see the black oil. That's actually a good thing. And this is not on the compressor side, but look at all the oil. I know it's not, it's got to be a seal somewhere. Here's like the bottom of the oil pan. And this side, which is the right side, is just covered in it. The left side, clean. There's no oil or anything like that on the side of the compressor. It's all over on the right side of the reefer unit. Um, I There was the dipstick. I had to add oil. But yeah, here's underneath the oil pan, just caked in oil. There's oil all over the place. Gotta have, gotta have a smile on your face. If it's not the truck, it's gonna be another piece of equipment I own. And right now it's the reefer unit. Um, it's not as bad as it probably looks. A little bit of oil looks really bad. Um, I did have to add two quarts a while ago, and that's why I chose to stop here and do a road call service um, to see if they can fix it. Um, at first I thought maybe it was the oil pan gasket, but I don't know what it is. I, I don't think it's that. There is a leak somewhere. Hopefully it is just a gasket and I haven't blown anything or something like that. Um, I think if something was blown, it would be pouring out more oil than it is. Um, like the bottom, the tray of the of the unit isn't like filled with oil. So I'm not losing a lot, but I'm losing enough that I'm uncomfortable. Um, because this is a frozen load. I don't want it to go bad. Um, and... I don't want to run it all night and not get any sleep and just have to keep checking the oil. So I figured I'd stop, do a road service call. Um, supposedly the guy's going to be here in an hour uh, and hopefully it's an easy fix. Um, just another thing to deal with. Just another thing to deal with. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you all updated. Well, the guy's already diagnosed uh, what's wrong with the reefer. Um, it is a front crankcase seal uh, is going bad. Um, downside is they don't have one. Uh, so what he's doing right now, I'm automatically charged two hours because it's an after hours call. So what he's going to do right now is blow out the compressor because I guess uh, it needs to be done. And he's going to tighten a couple of belts and, um, yeah, clean everything up, even though it's probably going to leak again. He, he said it's not bad. And he goes, um, what you kind of explained, he goes, I thought it was going to be the rear, the rear main seal. Uh, this isn't a lot of oil at all. Um, he's like, you're good. Uh, I would get it fixed soon. So I think what I'm going to do is finish the load that I'm currently on, start calling around and seeing if anybody has one and maybe cancel my load for tomorrow or take the load I have scheduled for tomorrow because it's a dry load and then cancel my next reefer load and get it, uh, work done back in Minnesota. So I should be out of here pretty soon. He, like I said, he's just going to do some work uh, for two hours because I get charged for two hours. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at.
Well, here's a look at all the oil on the back of the truck from when the reefer was leaking the oil. Um, I'm going to open it up now and show you where it's actually leaking. Now, I thought it was leaking up front here. It's not. It's leaking back here. This is the front crankcase, and that is where the oil is seeping out of. The seal's bad there and causing oil to leak. Well, I'm being unloaded right now, so I thought I'd break down how much this after hours reefer service call cost me. Um, I made this call last night because I stopped to get fuel and noticed that I had oil leaking from my um, reefer unit. So I opened the doors. I couldn't really figure out where it was coming from. Um, I had done some cleaning with some uh, brake clean and some paper towels, but I couldn't see where it was leaking. And a little bit of oil looks like a lot of oil. So I kind of got scared. I made the phone call. He told me that if I went to his shop um, and he came out after hours, it was a two, it was a two hour minimum charge at like 200 some dollars an hour. I said, Hey, no problem. I'm under a load. So long story short, I went to the shop, found out that the front crankcase seal is leaking, which is actually good news. It's, it's a very easy job. That's what the guy told me. Um, problem was they didn't have the kit. They didn't have the seat, the seal. They didn't have the wear sleeve or the O-ring. Um, so he couldn't fix it, but he was charging me for two hours. So he ended up doing some work to the truck. Um, he ended up power washing the condenser on the top of the reefer unit, I guess mine was pretty dirty due to me not blowing it out or or power washing it. Um, made a huge difference. Like the reefer was way quieter after he did that. Um, he ended up tightening, uh, tightening up three of my belts. My belts were loose, which actually helped with the crankcase oil leak. Um, and he was able to tighten one bolt on the crankcase as well, which did help the leak quite a bit. It still is seeping out, but not, not bad at all. I mean, it's not creating a huge puddle in my bottom of the reefer tray right now, like it did yesterday. But, um, yeah, for two hours, it ended up costing me $567. And really the only things that were done were, a power wash, he cleaned the inside of the reefer, the bottom of the tray, he cleaned the um, condensing unit, and tightened up all my belts. And he kind of did a visual inspection, uh, because I'm due for service on my reefer unit. Um, and he's like, hey, maybe you should get this done, this done. He kind of gave me a list of things that I think I've ignored, just because I've never owned a reefer trailer before. So definitely a learning experience but yeah that that service call ended up costing me 567 dollars and really the problem's not fixed yet um so he gave me the part numbers and the part number for the kit he said some places sell it as a kit some places sell them independently or you know separately so what i'm doing today is trying to track down these parts and then on my way back out there, I think I will stop at his shop. It's right outside of Madison, Wisconsin. Um, I think I'll stop out there and have him change it for me. Um, but yeah, $567 to get a power wash, an inspection, um, a, a diagnostic on what was wrong, what was leaking, and tightening of belts. Kind of expensive, but you know, I guess it's the cost of doing business, right? So yeah. That's how much it costs to do to have a reefer breakdown. Just the phone call and showing up was a two hundred dollar char or two hour charge with a total being five hundred and sixty seven dollars.